Hello friends, today we will discuss about a concept which is known as specific speed. A specific speed it is denoted by symbol NS. So this is very important in case of selection of pumps or turbines. So if we know the value of specific speed, we can predict the flow characteristics of an impeller and head characteristics and characteristics of an impeller. So we in turn helps for designer to select the particular pipe type of pump based on its application. Similarly for turbines, if we know the value of specific speed, we can select a particular type of turbine, which can be Belton turbine or Francis turbine or Kaplan turbine. So first let us consider the case of specific speed of turbine, then we will discuss about specific speed of pump. So specific speed of The definition says the it is a turbine which is geometrically similar but reduced in size compared to the actual turbine which is producing one kilowatt power under a head of under a working head of one meter. So in simple way you can write it like this: if the power generated by the turbine is one kilowatt under the working head of one meter, we call the speed. As specific speed. Okay, now let us try to obtain the expression for NST. For this, we consider the basic equation P is equal to rho Q G H. Okay, where P is power, rho is density of the working fluid, which is water. The value is thousand. Q is the discharge. G is nine point eight one meter per second square. H is the head available. That is the height available. So rho is thousand kg per meter cube, which is constant value. Then g nine point eight one meter per second square. Again, it is a constant value. So I can modify the equation and write like this, eliminating the constants. P is directly proportional to q into h. So I will consider now. Q, which is a into v, the continuity equation for non-compressible fluids like water. So for area, cross-sectional area, pi by four d square into v. Again, we can eliminate the constant and write d square into v. Now here we will try to get the expression of v in terms of h. D expression of D in terms of H and N. So for that we will consider the basic equation of velocity, which is D is equal to C D into square root of two G H. C D it is a coefficient of discharge for flow measuring devices like venturi meter and verifier meter. It has different value for different measuring instruments. Okay, this is a constant. Two is constant value. G is constant. So if I write Eliminating the constant, I get v is directly proportional to square root of h. Then I can substitute the value here. P is q square d square into v. In place of v, we will write square root of h and h. Now for d square, we will consider a term which is speed ratio. The definition says it is the ratio of tangential velocity to the absolute velocity of water. Tangential velocity of wheel to the absolute velocity of water. So it is given by the expression pi d n upon 60 and v velocity, absolute velocity of fluid is nothing but square root of h here. Okay, and eliminating the constants. Pi is a constant value, 60 is a constant value. Then again, pi speed ratio which is a constant. So if I simplify, I will get the expression for h d. Sorry, we get the expression for d. So for d, if I write 
square root of h by n here it is b square h by n square square root of h and h so all together it is h raised to pi by 2 and n square so if i remove this proportional design and introduce a constant it is k by 2 n square so we will get here we will consider the definition in order to get the value of k constant so we we'll call this as equation number one the definition says it is a speed of a turbine it is speed of a turbine or which is geometrically similar and reduced in size compared to the actual turbine which is generating 1 kilowatt power if the power is 1 kilowatt generated power under working head of 1 meter then we call the speed of the turbine as specific speed then the speed becomes n s t so if I substitute these values uh, by the definition in the equation then I will get uh, H working head is 1 meter n square so this n square becomes n h t by the definition so we will get the value of k which is n s t square so substituting the value of k in equation number 1 we will get in place of k I can write n s t square h raised to pi by 2 as it is divided by n square if I rewrite the equation for n s t which is square root of p n h raised to pi by 4 so this is the expression for specific speed of turbine square root of p n h raised to pi by 4 here, here is an important thing which we can observe n s t is directly inversely proportional to h so if we write Now with this we can discuss the selection of turbines. So we know that Pelton turbine is high head turbine. High head means automatically specific speed will be low. So Pelton turbine is high head and low specific speed turbine. Whereas Kaplan turbine is low head and high specific speed turbine. We have Francis turbine which is medium head and medium specific speed turbine. Okay, like this we can select we, this. This can be used in selection of turbine. Okay, let us now discuss about specific, specific speed of pump. So specific speed of pump. Again that is also on the same lines what we did now. Specific speed of pump n s t. So again, we can define specific speed of pump. It is geometrically similar and reduced in size compared to the actual pump, which is giving one meter cube per second discharge at the head of one meter. So in that case, the speed of the pump we call it as specific speed. So if Q is one meter cube per second head available is 1 meter then we call the speed of the pump as specific speed of pump so for the to get the derivative and expression we we'll consider discharge equation or continuity equation q is equal to a into v which is applicable for non-compressible fluids where a is the area of cross section v is the velocity so we have a is pi by 4 d square which can be written directly proportional to d square because pi by 4 is constant again for b c d into square root of 2 g h as already we discussed we directly proportional to square root of h because c d is constant 2 is constant and g is also constant so substituting the values in the equation it becomes directly proportional in place of a we write d square in place of a we write h again to get the value of d we will consider the expression speed ratio which is nothing but the ratio of tangential velocity of wheel to the 
absolute velocity of water with a ratio so again pi b n upon 60 divided by square root of h so further eliminating the constants pi and 60 i can write so again eliminating the constant which is phi i will get s the value of b as square root of h by n here we get it is h by n square and square root of h so further simplifying it is h raised to 3 by 2 n square so while remove this proportional design introduce a constant which can be k Now, in order to get the value of k which is constant, we have to use the definition. So, the definition says it is a pump reduced in size but geometrically similar to the actual pump. It is a pump which is similar, geometrically similar and reduced in size compared to the actual pump which is giving us 1 meter cube per second of discharge under a head of 1 meter. So, in that case, the speed of the pump becomes specific speed of pump so we use this condition or we use this definition and get the value of k so q is equal to k sorry q here it is 1 meter cube per second k as it is h is 1 meter 1 raised to 3 by 2 is 1 and the speed in this condition becomes m s p so further on simplification, we will come to know that that is k is n s p square. So we will call this as equation number one. Substituting the value of k in equation number one, we will get q is equal to n s p square h raised to 3 by 2 divided by n square. Further rewriting the equation for n s p, we will get the expression of specific speed of pump which is nsp is equal to square root of q into n divided by h raised to 3 by 4. Further, if we observe here, nsp is inversely proportional to h, inversely proportional to h. So again, for, for in order to pump the water to a higher head, we will choose a pump which is having low specific speed. In order to pump uh, the water to a lower head we will choose a specific speed which is having higher we will choose a pump which is having higher specific speed so we can interpret the expression in this way so this is about specific speed of pump and turbine thank you